Mars is bright this morning. Good morning, 5 a.m.ers. It's so interesting. You've heard that, that saying, I'm sure, that the sky is the limit. Do whatever you want. The sky is the limit. And now, the sky isn't the limit. People are talking about moving humans to Mars. And it's within our lifetime that this could happen. So as I walk and I look at Mars, I'm just like blown away that there are people currently working on a process to get people to Mars to set up a new colony or civilization. That is out of the box thinking. That is incredible and terrifying at the same time. So this is also kind of uh, Harry Potter-esque. When I see how bright Mars is, all I can think about are those two centaurs in Harry Potter, who in the very first book, the very first movie, they talk about how Mars is bright and it's kind of like a foreboding, what is yet to come. And as if you know the Harry Potter stories, things just get worse and worse <laughs> and worse until the conclusion when Harry Potter is finally able to <gasps> spoiler alert just kidding I won't tell you guys but uh, yeah I hope that life is not like a Harry Potter show and that instead we just focus on the present and the good and omens like Mars is bright tonight are not allowed to come into play as part of our happiness. You can't make science fiction a reality. But it sure is fun to watch. Reality is pretty great. I love the present. It's a real gift. <laughs> Get that? Living in the present is pretty wonderful. Like, look at right now. We're walking. We're in a beautiful place. The weather is great. We're smiling. Look at where we're walking, it's just gorgeous. Snow beach, I'd love to be by the ocean, but that's not the way it goes. We're pretty much the farthest from any ocean possible. That's right, and prairie people, but uh, still beautiful. The weather's enjoyable. You know, life is good. Hey Ryder, can you believe it's day 61? Can you believe it? You're getting into a good little exercise doggy. So day 61. So I'll just read you a part of my journal today. So I just wrote small steps. Narrow your focus. Stay consistent. And you'll begin to accomplish more than you allowed yourself to imagine. You only focus on your very next step. So on day one, your only focus is day one. Day two, your only focus is day two. You're not thinking about day 66. You're not thinking about the long haul. When you start, you just focus on your next step. If you look too far ahead, it's very easy to stumble. Stay focused on the next step and take it. Before you even know it, you'll be at your destination. I'm on day 61. And day one started, all I thought was my next step, okay, gotta do day two before I could focus on day three or day four. And now here I am on day 61. And my focus is day 62. I, if I quit now, I haven't accomplished it. Day 63, but only small steps. It's important that you make small impactful changes to your daily habits. And that is how you will su succeed at whatever, whatever it is that you want to keep working on. And especially with this early rising. I'm pretty, pretty grateful for all the friends that I'm making along the way. Um, they have been one of the greatest sources of, oh, what's the word? Support and motivation. I loved watching and re reading Deval Patel's videos and AJ Gupta's videos and Varpreet Kaur's um, videos and messages and 
you know, there's a lot of people that are pretty awesome to learn from. And I'm pretty grateful today to have had the chance to learn from so many of you. I'm also grateful and excited that because even though, um, you know, today is day 61 and we're getting close to the end, it's not the end. These are friendships and, and people that I can learn from for a long time. I can learn from all of you for a long time. Don't give up. Focus on that next step. You can do this before you know it. Time will have passed and you will be many steps ahead of where you ever thought you could be. You can do it.